and master. The finishing touches. <laughs> trying to fix Madeline's oh, giant sandwich. When hosting a dinner party. I'm gonna leave this here for now. Seem never ending. Ta-da. <laughs> like the underappreciated task of setting the table. Exactly. <laughs> right. No spoons tonight. Just forks and knives. And ensuring there's enough ice. We've got two types of sangria. <laughs> She's done a really good job with bringing the community together. Good evening. Thank you all so much for coming. This is so exciting. A gathering of folks for a book club of sorts. Someone recommended it to me because I collect cookbooks. Where the monthly read yields Instagram worthy eats. A brie pinwheel. The cookbook we had today was a classic. I tried to do asabuco, but I couldn't get the shank. I made the pate de champagne with walnuts. We have to put the parsley on top to make it all gorgeous. Gather round. There we go. All right, everyone, you ready to talk some food? Meet Jill Gocher, creator of Jill's Cookbook Club. At least like six hours. Please. A diverse group of people passionate about food gathering together to experience all of the different pieces of a cookbook. This month we did the Silver Palette Cookbook. Such a fun one. It smells like garlic in here, which is incredible. <laughs> Sharing insight into recipes. Cut a hole through the pork tenderloin and then stuff with fruit. <laughs> and so I didn't do that. Knowledge of ingredients. I know from experience that salad dressings from older recipes tend to have more oil. Details on desserts. And then there's a glaze that has more apple brandy. And helpful reminders when cooking with beets. The only thing I would do differently is I would wear a pair <laughs> All right, let's eat. But before the group plates up, Let's catch up with the club's namesake. And it's all gonna go in the oven. While she puts the finishing touches on a French onion soup galette. Probably a ridiculous amount of cheese. And some stuffed mushrooms. The kitchen is where I go to when I'm in truly any mood. A cook space that doubles as a library. I mean, I've always been a big reader. After her first year of law school, she traded in her legal lit. It's like, when am I ever gonna reference a property textbook, right? For 20 cookbooks. Because Law school textbooks are really expensive. Creating a precedent for perfecting her cooking. Oh yeah, the roast chicken. His book is like incredibly technical. This is probably like a hangover from my law school days. I still tab a lot when I read. It has really approachable recipes and I just love that they tell a story. And so I feel like every time I open a book, I learn something different about cooking. Study of a subject nice. worth sharing with others. She started the club a couple of years ago. Perfect. Recently, she's taken to sharing her kitchen exploits on social media at Cook with yeah. Jill. This is the pickled herring video that went viral. Kind of like lean in and worst case, there are 25 other dishes and so people aren't gonna starve. Back to dinner. You can tell in the passion and the way people talk about it when they're presenting their dishes. The club digs in. So much stuff, so amazing. And conversation flows. The end of the Betty Crocker era. Where I grew up, it's rolling hills. Breaking bread, having good drinks, good food with good company is like what life's really all about. I really want to learn how to do sourdough. That's it's like, that is my next thing. It is. Mm -hmm. I because like, when yeah. they start talking about hydration levels. It's a commitment. Yeah. It's a commitment. Yeah. Like a relationship. Work, honestly, is what kind of took me back and forth. We're going to go for dessert. That's my favorite. No matter your culinary skills. My recipe was so simple. It was just cooking some lentils and making a dressing for it. All are welcome taking away more than full stomachs. Just learning from each and every one of you because I might like something, my taste buds might say something, but doesn't mean everyone's gonna agree. So learning what is good, what's not. Did anyone have a favorite dish? A debrief and cookbook raffle cap off the evening. Of course there's dishes to do. But that doesn't bring the party to an end. So many different kinds of people that come. It's been a lot of fun getting to meet so many wonderful people. Just connecting over food. There's an old adage that when people get together, the party's always in the kitchen. Thank you. Have a great night, you guys. Good Bye. to see you. For the members of this cookbook club. Like after every dinner, like I'm smiling for like a week straight. That saying rings true. In Bend, Steve Kaufman, Central Oregon Daily News. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on more videos from Central Oregon Daily News. And for more news from the high desert, just visit centraloregondaily.com.